Hello everybody and welcome back to another Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport update. Uh, this is the first time that the new Delta Connection CRJ200 is flying in here to Kalamazoo, so that's pretty cool to see that change here. Because, uh, well, with Kalamazoo, not too much changes here. Uh, and I'm glad to at least bring something to, that changes here to the, uh, to the update. Uh, and there will soon be change though, because uh, in, uh, in a month, uh, or a little bit, a little bit over a month, Abella will be starting service here to Kalamazoo. Uh, they'll be starting service to uh, Orlando in October. I'm super excited to show that in these airport updates. Uh, I also wonder where, where they'll park. Probably Gate 5, maybe Gate 1, I'm not sure. Uh, but they'll probably be one of those. Maybe Gate 4, because Delta seems to have moved from Gate 4 to Gate 3. So maybe that's where Abella will be parking. I'm not sure. I don't have a model for them yet, yet because no one's really made one. Uh, but that's a problem for another time. But for now, we have a very cool Kalamazoo Airport update to bring to you guys uh, with the two regular carriers here. Um, but I'll, that'll be super awesome to see Avello here. I'll talk more about that when that update comes around. Uh, but we'll get the update started here. This will all be handheld. I don't intend on making more than one shot here, unless I royally screw something up. So we'll start here at gate two. We have this American Eagle EUN, EUN 45. Uh, this one is in the new livery, of course. It's been like that for a while ever since I got the model, uh, but always great to get it in here, even though that has basically stayed the same this entire uh, this entire series of Kalamazoo. <laughs> it's the same aircraft, but it is the American Eagle E-145, operated by Envoy Air. And this one came in from Chicago O'Hare, and it's getting the bags loaded off, and uh, I'll be staying overnight and uh, heading back out there. And then our second aircraft here, uh, this was this is the Delta Connection CRJ200. Uh, this one's operated by Envoy and is pulling into its gate after arriving in from Detroit Metro. And uh, well, that one just arriving in. Uh, great to see the uh, the new Delta Connection CRJ200. This will also be seeing around heading back out there. Uh, just love this model. It's so much better than my other one. <laughs> it's just all glued. Uh, but I'm really happy to have this uh, new CRJ200 in the collection. Also, you might be wondering that why these two are staying overnight. Well, this is daytime, and yeah, that may be a little bit inaccurate, but we do still have one more model to get to, and that was a daytime flight. So the time frame, there isn't really a time frame for this one. I'm just taking some flights from this day. Uh, so I guess these are the, these are the later two flights here, uh, the CRJ200, because Delta has two daily flights, one on, CR, one on CRJ200 that's at night, uh, arrives at night and then takes off in the morning. And, the, and then their midday flight is on either a CRJ 900, 700, or 200, kind of depends. Then American also has two daily flights to Chicago O'Hare, and they're both on the UN 45, operated by Envoy. Uh, but yeah, as you might have guessed, we have something a little bit special here. And we've seen it before here in a few updates of Kalamazoo, but it is the Delta Connection CRJ 700. This one's also operated by Envoy Air, or Endeavor Air, sorry. Uh, both E's. Uh, we've seen the CRJ900 more often recently, but this flight was on the 700. So this one pushed back out of gate 3, the gate where the CRJ200 is pulling into. And uh, this one is currently taxiing out for departure and will be uh, taken off for Detroit. Uh, so this is the first uh, flight of the day to Detroit. Or, well, not the, I guess not the first departure, the first arrival of the day, and this is the second departure. Um, and then we get the, yeah, because there's, there's the overnight one, which I guess makes it a little bit confusing. So this is the second departure, but this is all the first arrival. Uh, but that's really cool to see here, of course. Uh, I love incorporating some different Delta aircraft in here, pretty much just the CRJs. But uh, as Envoy retires the E-145s, we will hopefully be seeing the, or we will be seeing the E-175 in about a year here. Uh, once all the E-145s get retired, which will be sad to see the E-145s go, because uh, that that is a really nice aircraft, and I'm sad that those are going to be leaving the American fleet. <laughs> I'm also kind of sad that American is going to be getting the CRJ-200s back. I really hope they don't start selling the CRJ-200s here. I don't have an American CRJ-200 model, and I didn't I didn't have any plans on getting one ever, uh, because they've been retired, and now they're really rare. And now American's bringing them back with Air Wisconsin. Why? Why, why, why? Kind of, yeah, that's a bit upsetting, I would say, because the CRJ-200 is not 
the best in terms of comfort. Well, neither is the UM45 for that matter, but, you know, it's... <laughs> we were doing a good job of getting rid of CRJ200s, and now Americans bring them back. So, and considering that it is Air Wisconsin, this is the region that they're going to be flying them out of. Probably their Chicago hub the most, if I had to guess. Uh, and maybe some east, some of the northeastern airports as well. Yeah, so that's just unfortunate there to see. Uh, Envoy will be retiring the U-45s, so and Air Wisconsin came in. I, I was good with them just staying with United and their CRJ-200s, but uh, they'll be doing business with American too. So uh, I don't want to say it's likely to happen, but at is probably true that we're going to see some American Sierra J200s here. I'm hoping that's the UN75s though, because UN75s, that would be de a definite upgrade over the UN45. But I don't know if Kalamazoo has enough demand to have an UN2 UN75 flights per day to Chicago on Envoy Air and American Eagle. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, with that being said, that is the end of this Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport update. Um, I'll hopefully have a lighter tone here on the next airport update for Kalamazoo, as that will meet, that'll likely be the uh, debut flight for uh, Avello Airlines. And, uh, well, I'll see you then. Then, geez. <laughs> Den, that's Denver's airport code. And uh, this this is where I really screw up, right? right? As I reach 6 minutes and 41 seconds of this recording. So, I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Auf Wiedersehen.